Hang on for shoutouts. So some of you might know that I'm running a Windows computer and right now I am actually using OBS to record my camera. But today I'm going to talk to you about a Windows feature, mainly a settings thing. See, before you go downloading any programs, you should know what your hardware can handle. You should know the specifications or the specs of your computer before you go downloading all these programs like OBS, GB Studio, Audacity, things like that. Milky Tracker. Although some of these can run on some very low specs, doesn't mean that all computers can handle them. And I'm a little concerned about my computer because it does seem to lag once in a while and yeah I don't think my computer can actually run a bigger game engine like Unity or Unreal Engine even though that is what most of the game developers use nowadays is those two game engines I don't think I have the hardware or the specs that it takes to run these mainly because my computer doesn't have a graphics card but let instead of taking my word for it let me show you what mine looks like like what my specs look like okay to get to the specs I'm gonna go to my cogwheel which is settings or I can go to start and here's the cogwheel again and so it's the settings here so we go to settings, then we go to system, and to see what this, what your specs are, you go to about. Now for security reasons, I went ahead and took a photo or a screenshot of my specs, and I redacted them so you don't have all the information. But this is pretty much everything that is, needs to be known. Like I have a CPU that is a i7 Intel and it's more specific like what model it is and what hertz it runs at. So between that range, that's what it tells you. So between 1.80 and 1.99 gigahertz. I have RAM installed, it says it's 16 gigabytes. Maybe I should see if I can expand it, I don't know. But it's saying that it has 15.9 usable gigabytes of RAM. And then here's something that is actually very important to know when you go to download software is what kind of system you're running. Older computers used to run on like a 16-bit system. Now we're running at 64 bits. Not every computer, not every computer runs at that. But if you're going to download a program, you want to get the one that matches your system type. Otherwise, something's going to be off, and it might be terribly off. Might not run at all. This computer actually did have a touch screen, and yes, it cracked again. I don't know why the screen keeps cracking, but it does. And it's not taking over the whole screen like like it did last time so it's not so bad but yeah so does your computer have touchscreen that's something that you'll find in your device specifications okay Windows Plus brings up the magnifying glass there it is now you got a magnifying glass right there and the reason why I did that is to show you guys this right click and you have all these features right here. You want to go to Task Manager. Why do you want to go to Task Manager? Because you want to be able to see your specs as they're being used. And we're going to scroll over to Performance. Performance. This gives us a graph of our CPU, our memory, our hard drive. This one has a H. DD. That means a hard drive disk. <laughs> wow. 
Wi-Fi director? What? There's probably some form of a GPU built into the processor itself. But yeah, that's interesting. CPU. Okay. What happens if I click here? Memory. Our memory usage is pretty stable right now. See, it's not really warping or nothing. All right, so we can learn a lot about our computers by looking at features like this. Not only our specifications, but our task manager. There's also other pr things like device manager, but that's like toggling on and off different parts of the device. So unless you really know what you're doing, I suggest you just don't touch it. <laughs> All right, so for our first shout out, we are gonna pick Jalen Boyd. His channel seems to be music. I'm not sure. I don't really, I haven't really checked it out, but how did he earn a shout out on my channel? First, he's a public subscriber. So that means I know that he subscribed to me and others can actually see that he subscribed to me as well. Second, he has content because I actually was able to go to his channel and see what he had. And third, he's commented in videos in the past. So shout out to you, Jalen Boyd. You all go check out his channel, tell him Jacob sent you. And I hope this video has been encouraging to you and that you've enjoyed and learned something. And I will see you all later. Bye.